Hello everyone and welcome to my art room. My name is Terry Hines and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to bleach and dye your own Christmas trees for your holiday decorations. It's a very simple process. You only need some bleach and some water, some containers that you can put your bleach solution in. You need some trees. I get all my uh, Christmas trees from like Hobby Lobby or Kmart or Michaels. I did buy this one very large bag of assorted sized trees. I believe I got that at Kmart or Hobby Lobby last year. And you can get mini Christmas trees. You can get um, wreaths. I got these in the dollhouse section of Hobby Lobby. So that's a handy place to look for them. And they're usually fairly inexpensive. So this is a great project if you're on a, a budget for Christmas this year. And I love making my own decorations. And being able to change the color of all these is really handy. So to get started, decide how much bleach you want to have to your water solution. Now the more bleach, the faster the color will bleach out. The less bleach, the more patience you need. So I use about a 50-50 solution. And I put this in this little container here. This is actually a little vintage glass. But I like the shape because I can get my whole tree in there. And it'll evenly bleach out at the same time. So I just put my tree right in that solution. I'm going to add just a bit more water so that the entire tree is covered at the same time. I don't like to use my fingers in the bleach so I have a pair of tongs that I can play with and we're just going to let that sit for a little bit while I talk about the other things that you can do while bleaching. If I want to bleach a bunch of trees at one time, I'll just throw them in a bigger container. I can throw all those trees in at once. I can throw in a couple of wreaths. And the tongs, again, are very handy in pushing them down. And now, depending on how strong your solution is, is how long it will take for them to bleach out. And you want to keep an eye on it because while it goes, you may find that you want to stop and pull your trees out when they are still a little bit green. Or you may want to wait until they are completely creamy. Now, if you want to dye, change the color of your tree, go all the way to the cream before you use your dyes on it so that you get a more true color when you are finished. So I'm just going to keep moving this around a little bit, this tree over here. And it's just starting to turn and keep swirling these around. And once they are done, we'll be able to see how they change. But for now, I'm going to share with you dyeing your Christmas trees. I love this pink color here. And I achieved this result by using some glimmer mist. I use a shoebox as a spray booth. And I put my tree inside my shoe box and I use my glimmer mist to spray it down. Make sure I get all the sides. I think one thing reason I like the glimmer mist to dye the trees is because it's so quick to do and if I want to change the color of it when it's done, all I need to do is dip it in some fresh water until I get the color I want. I like my trees a little bit pale. Dip it a few times and then dry it off. See what I think of the color. And there it is. That's really simple. Now the trees do come flocked. so. I like to soak them in the water sometimes a little extra and then wipe some of that flocking off or I might decide to keep some of the flocking on. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks really nice too. As in this tree that I took out part way, so it's a little bit green, it's got some of the flocking on as well. I'm just going to move this up and down a little bit more. It's getting lighter and these give them a little swirl. Now you can see one of my wreaths is almost cream colored already. That didn't take maybe just two minutes for that to get that light. Interestingly enough, the red bow doesn't change color at all, so I don't know what permanent dyes they used on that, but that's very strong. 
And I'd also like to share with you another way that you can decorate your tree with glitter. There are just so many ways that you can dress up these trees once you're done with them. So I'm going to take this tree, make sure that it's completely dry. Now I can use something like diamond glaze to adhere the glitter, or I can just use something like uh, tacky glue, Aileen's tacky glue, and it dries clear, so it works just as well. But I really love my diamond glaze, so I'm going to use this. What I'm going to do is just pour a little bit of diamond glaze out on a protected surface, and then I just kind of rub a bit of diamond glaze on like this. You could use a Q-tip if you don't want it on your finger. Just kind of rub it on the, just the edges of the tree. Make sure I get it all the way around. And then I'm just going to roll it in the glitter. This glitter I'm using today is Martha Stewart's vintage looking silver glitter. And it just makes for a lovely tree. You see that shine? And it's so easy. So now let's take a look at our trees. Some of these are already getting very close to cream colored. I'm just going to give them another stir. That one wreath is completely done, so I am going to put it in a water bath to rinse it off. You want to rinse the bleach off well and then dry them well before you treat them. And this tree here is almost done. I'm really loving this color right now. You see that? Another couple of minutes in this tree would be completely cream colored and then you could do anything you want with it. So that's how easy it is to bleach and dye your own trees for your holiday projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon. Bye bye for now.